What's happening people, welcome back to the channel, I hope you're keeping well, it's Newcastle versus Tottenham at St James's Park this Super Sunday, I mean not the one for, for us to remember last season that this game usually has goals, uh, it's been a bit mixed for us you know, over the years, the results we've got at St James's Park, I've had some really good results at like 3-2 away we win uh, you know, the start of Newcastle's new ownership uh, with Steve Bruce still in charge, but also we lost 5-1 up there um, you know, when, when they got relegated. Which is really odd, the last game of the season right at the end, and then last season wasn't very good. But the next couple of games for us are really make or break. They don't define our season, but they define maybe what we're capable of uh, in terms of Newcastle away, Arsenal at home. They're two games, we've got absolutely nothing from last season. Can we get three points, four points? That's the question. But last season, you know, we, we fell foul, if you like, you know, Newcastle's hostile. Uh, in, you know, intimidating atmosphere that they create at the noisy St James's Park for me the downfall last season rather than being than being fantastic. I think it was more the atmosphere they created. And looking at them at the start of the season, they look good but not great. I think we're a better team on paper, but you know, at home I think we'd win this. But St James's Park, you just don't know the atmosphere they created. The fans, I do, I do think they put they you know, certainly do their job. But can a team do their job for Newcastle? That's that's the thing. Our way of support is excellent as always. But in terms of the team, the team news, uh, the training pictures at the time of recording, there's Solanke, um, Richarlison and Van der Ven weren't pictured. So my team's based on none of them are available. So the Caro in goal, uh, you've got Poro, Romero, Dragosin and a doggy midfield. Ugh, you can make a good case, I think, for anyone to be in there. Kulisevsky, Madison and Basuma is what I'll go with. In a front three of Johnson on the right, Son down the middle, and Odebert on the left. But I think that is that is totally flexible. If Richards and Oslanke are available, they will probably come in there and probably bench Johnson. And I really, really like him, but I think he's better off the bench uh, as Newcastle tire. I just think like Dan Burn, if he for whatever reason plays that left back role, he will really tire. You know, Johnson's pace coming off. We could maybe say the same for Odebert, but I think Odebert done enough to keep his place. In the starting lineup, score prediction. I would take a draw, considering we've got nothing last season. We've got to find a way of turning last season's losses into draws and the draws into wins. Uh, of course, even more, but I think that's, that's the first step you've got to take. So I'm going to go with a 2 2 draw. I think it's a really interesting game. I think that we could burst into quite an early lead and I think Newcastle will pull it back. Uh, I think we could go you know, 1 2 0 no up and Newcastle will pull it back to make it 2 2. Uh, I think this will be you know, Son's game. Like I think Son will do really well. Johnson do very well. Our wingers will be very important in this game, uh, more than the inverted fullbacks or anyone else, just to stretch uh, Newcastle's fullbacks. It will be Trippier, Bird, whoever may play in those fullback positions. But if you like the video, smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for England, Premier League, and Tottenham content. But for now, a massive Common New Spurs, and do get involved in the comments below. <laughs>